are definitely going to need to get a multimeter. It does not have to be a flashy one, it can be the cheapest one you can possibly find, but this is an essential piece of kit. Uh, if you haven't already got one of these, we'll add some links for you to some of the best deals on Amazon in the video description below. So a standard car's electrical system is 12 volts, so on a multimeter, on the voltage side, I want to turn this to the closest setting, which is usually 20 volts. Next what we want to do is take our negative side of our multimeter, put that onto the terminal and the positive onto the other side and take our reading. So here we can see we are at 12.14. Now 12.14 is a little bit low, that will indicate that this battery is approximately around half charged currently. Uh, ideally you want to see kind of 12.4 to 12.6, uh, that would be uh, the ideal range. But hopefully when you run that test you're looking at uh, mid 12 volts for your resting battery. Now the second stage of this test is to repeat this exact same process, uh, but this time we're going to do it with the engine running. And the reason why you need to also do it with the engine running is when the uh, engine's running, your alternator will be recharging your battery, and so the uh, voltage uh, that reading that you'll get will be considerably higher. So let's repeat our initial test. Now we can see uh, the battery has, with the engine running, 14.33 volts. Now the voltage that you have with a battery running can vary a little bit, but as a general guideline you should be seeing somewhere between 13.7 and 14.7. If this video has been helpful for you, can you please do us a quick, quick favour before you leave us. Please be sure to hit that like button and also can please consider subscribing. We have loads more great DIY content waiting for you to check out. We appreciate it, guys. We'll see you again.